Hello and welcome. My name is Joshua Ryan Hield. I am an artist. Today for an art project, I have chosen to use an old computer, but first I need to repair it. Behind me you see is the Dell Fostro 200. Originally released in the 2000s, this was just a budget computer originally released for businesses. It does have some notable hardware specs, including an Intel Core Dual for its CPU, and depending on the computer you've got, either have Windows XP or Windows Vista pre-installed. But we'll be doing Windows Vista today. Mainly, it's, it is what I have. I do not have Windows XP, sorry. And I'd also have a machine with the sticker of the of Vista on it. I wonder why people hate Vista. I'd heard nothing but bad things about it. Oh well. I'd found both the Dell Fostro 2000 and the Windows Vista Ultimate Edition at everybody's FDS favorite thrift store, DI. They were both cheap too. Unfortunately, when I got this, it was in pretty bad shape. There was a tape claiming that there was no hard drive, but that is the least of its worries. Both the original fans made a lot of noise, meaning that they were on, their, on its last legs, so they had to go. Then I did not trust the original O250 power watch supply. I was as afraid that it might explode at any minute, so I threw that out and gave all of the original computer parts to my little, little brother. Lastly, the CMOS battery died out long ago. I'd already replaced that, though. I then went to the official Dell forums and some YouTube videos to help me on how to put a Dell Fosteros 2000's capacity to the max. I got some additional 2GB RAM, a new 300W power supply, and an NVIDIA GeForce GT520 graphics card, as well as a 240GB SSD as the main hard drive for the operating system, and the 500 gigabyte regular hard drive for the Steam library of games. Note that this was not easy. I had to find many new parts for this machine. I tried to find the parts at local stores, but I eventually had to go online. I like local because I get what I want immediately. With the internet, I had to wait for days for the parts to arrive. Another problem is that while I found some parts on a budget, or at least the cheapest I could find, the parts drained all of my money. I had to wait for more money to come to complete my parts. As you can see here, this is how much my computer costs total. Even worse, sometimes I thought I was getting the right part, only to find that it is the wrong incompatible part, costing me more money and time. In short, it took me over three weeks and over $200 to get the right parts for the computer. But it was worth it. After all this time, I'd had all the parts I needed to finally make them, this machine work. So let's get started. I'm going to start a computer fan. some parts, okay?
Okay, here we go. Windows Vista 32 bit, since I heard that was what this system is best works on. So, um, here we go. Uh, right there. It's working. Yeah. Here we go. And I have the instruction manual. Okay. Getting started. Here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I want to make sure I read this properly. Okay. Time to get started. Okay. So I don't want you to see the serial pin so I can do that. And now I'm going to install it. Custom advanced. I think it knows that it's business the moment I entered the, the uh, serial number. I got the serial pin number for, not from the ultimate package, but from the computer itself. I want to install it from the, um, from the business edition because it was what it came with. And now it, I have done that. And now it think, now it knows it's <coughs> all business rather than ultimate. So great. We started again, so yeah, I guess that um, black mirror cursor means that it just restarted, and now it's um, booting up for the first time ever. All right, Let's see, uh, give me a sec while I make this up. Time to give this. Oh, I done entering my username and password. Time to give this computer my name. I'm gonna name it Del Foster Foster. Is a toaster. Oh, okay.
okay, that name was too long. I'll just name it, uh, Turo, uh, Tuster. That name was too long either. Okay. Del, uh, Tuster. That name is too long either. <laughs> okay. You just recommend settings even though I heard that, that that it doesn't do anything anyway. Mountain time. Done. So I went to Microsoft's website and downloaded the ISO into memories of an actual disk uh, of Windows Vista Service Pack 1. Yep, I'm pretty sure hopefully it can make things better and make things less buggy and improve the system, operating system in many ways. So you to try. Bad news. I installed the drivers from the Dell website and now it says that the operating system is can't found. According to the forums on the internet, the driver is toast. I try and plugging it and disconnecting the power source, everything. And still doesn't see the operating system. So yeah, this drive is now bad. I'm gonna have to replace the disk drive I now have. Down. Okay. Yeah. That's terrific. I need to just get myself a drive, and 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 I end up well, and it ends up up saying that I have, and I end up up burning it up. Great. Okay, here we go. Okay. There. See if we can't uh, try this again. Now it looks like I'm going to have to start all over from step one. Wish me luck. Case was in and then cross back properly.
Okay, and I'm gonna have to try again, start from scratch one. So, um, stay tuned. So, uh, I just, um, installed everything. Windows Vista, the first two service packs, and uh, Forster drivers. Now I've managed to set things up to make it into, well, hopefully, a Dell Foster 200 machine. And finally, Worms 2. Just a quick game. For the entirety of it, because that would be a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> oops. I accidentally played a two player game in the computer. Oh well. Although I didn't quite get the machine to who what it would be or all the parts in that I expected it to be, I managed to at least get decent results. Once upon a time, I'm thrown out by the original owner at a thrift store due to, as it seemed uh, seemed to have been on its last legs and no longer works. Now, it's in fully pro proper working condition and order. I had it run nearly all day today. Hey, hey. As you can see, the Del Fostero has continued to, to is alive again to this day, or at the making of this video. The only problem is that I can't get that stupid sticker off. Oh well. I managed to get all the 
the DI stuff out of there. I probably should have gotten the AMD Radeon HD D6450 instead. That could have fitted in the Twin Tower. But now I am broke. However, I am quite happy, happy I got this machine in and got it working. When I have some money, I could not get it the uh, AMD Radeon HD 6450 either. I'd like to thank Lazy Game Reviews, Peanut Butter Gamer, and whoever this guy's name is. Truly, the Dell Foster is a great machine for a small budget. Thank you for watching.